Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Minecraft. I'm not very good at the explainering. What are you doing? Trying to get out of the pond. Oh. Right. Um, yeah, so... Basically, we'll ha the, the pen will look pretty much like it is right now, as far as the water is concerned. But on top of the water that you can see at the moment, there's going to be one extra layer of water. But that's going to be flowing from the middle out to the sides. And on uh, all around the edges, we're going to have um, hoppers. And the hoppers will be collecting anything that drops from the squid inside. So the axolotls that are busy killing squid and killing anything else in here as well. Whoops. Yeah, thanks for that. Do you know how long it takes to break stuff in here? And there's a scary zombie in here. He might hurt me! He sounds like he's burnt, just brushed his teeth and he's gargling some mouthwash. Okay. Oh, there's another one there. Where'd you come from? Taste the wrath of my netherite sword. I could sleep, Fiend. but I kind of just want to watch you through the glass. With all the night zombies. Uh, well, I'm close enough now that it's fine. Uh, right, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We need to not allow the water to come in from the edges. So we've got to... Oh, actually, I can rebuild the um, the stuff in here. I can start putting the tinted glass back where it's we want it on the, the new edge of the tinted glass. Because I've got the stacks of the stuff here. Right. So, keep going? Or... Uh, yeah, keep going. Don't worry about it. Just ignore you. Uh, for the minute. Let me put a line of glass along the top here so that we don't have water forming all the way through the middle where we don't want it, that's all. Okay. There. Okay, now you can carry right on. Although I don't believe you stopped in the slightest. There was no concern that you may have been getting it completely wrong. No, not really. Right, why am I drifting? I shouldn't be. I don't know. Must be a block there somewhere that's... Oh. What? Now the zombie's just brushed his teeth. Oh, was he? Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of these blocks here are actually not floating down to the ground. Uh, well, they are floating. They're, they're going down to the ground instead of... Um, Some will float down and then stay there. Some don't seem to be floating down at all. Hmm. Right, I'm going doing to, to dig out a little bit on the side of this tank. And dig out sand blocks. All the way over there like that. And a layer of them here as well. Like that. This takes so long. Yeah. Remind me never to use glass. Oh, for uh, yeah, it or is. At least a, a lot of it. It is a bit of a nuisance when you're trying to do stuff like that. Uh, I need to come out of here for a minute so that I can breathe, or maybe just you know climb up to the top. We've got a lot of glass and sand and stuff here. I can't pick it up because my bags are full oh. of glass and sand and stuff. Oh, come pick it up. Where's it? Oh, you haven't got a chest yet. Yes, you have. You've got one up there. There's one just over there. Right, hang on. Let me get onto that block of glass so that I can see into the chest. There. Uh, there's some dirt. There's a load of standard glass. And a bit of sugar cane. Right. I'll keep the rest for a minute. I'll get this guy. You've got a friend. Not anymore. I'm going to dig out here, all the way to the bottom now. And I'll also dig out the stone over here to the corner. 
Just like that. And then, yeah, I'm pretty sure I've got this right for the tinted glass. I want it back here like this. So then I can fill in that bit there. My shulker box seems to have disappeared. Yeah, it's floating there. Where? It's floating in the water directly above me. There, you just picked it just up. Can't see it at all. That. Oh yeah, no. I just was floating around there a minute ago, and I couldn't pick it up or see it. Oh right. It's oh. weird. A little bit um, heavy, I suppose. Let's put this in like that. I appear to be drowning. Right, so the next thing that we want to do is put a layer of dirt on the top level of the water. Where the top level of water is now, we need a layer of dirt. Um, okay. Um, I have 11 pieces. So, hang on, do you mean this level or the nope. level below it? The level below it. There. All of okay. that. We now want to take all of that out. We'll fill it in a bit later. Right, okay. I'll go and get some more dirt. Uh, the, in your shulker box. Do you have any more tinted glass? Um, I have two pieces. I'm going to need more than that. Um, I, it. I put it over in the sorter room. Oh, I can go get it. Anywhere well, in particular? Oh, yeah, in the... In the tinted glass box. Uh, I'll go and get that if you start just putting some dirt out across the top of this thing. Okay. And we'll see if it works. Once we've got everything in place, if it works okay, then we can sort of look at a little bit more decoration and that on it. Because I think this is going to be a fairly reasonable permanent um, squid farm, a uh, glow ink, glow ink squid farm, and it's going to be fully automatic as well because the axolotls will harvest everything for us. Okay, I don't want anything on that side. I want these up here. I'll take two and a bit stacks of tinted glass, and I'll leave one stack behind. Uh, you may be able to hear drumming in the background. That is because it is absolutely hoofing it down with rain at the moment, which means that my gutter overflows slightly and the water drips onto the, um, uh, the, what's the bar called underneath the door? Huh? The, the, the plastic bar that goes underneath the door. I can't remember what it's um, called now. I don't know what you're talking about. You know, in a doorway... And at the bottom of the door, in the door frame, there's... Like the sill. The sill, yeah. The, the door sill. I don't know if it is the door sill. But anyway, uh, that's the bit that the water drips onto, the bit that sticks out in front on that little lip, and it drums and makes a really loud noise because it's plastic double glazed. Um, or oh, double glazing with the, like, the plastic frame. That's why we're getting this drumming noise. Uh, put one too low. Ugh. Put you better than that. No, I made mistakes. You have failed. Seems I am human. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. Right, hang on a second. I've got a load of tinted glass here that we'll eventually use for some other things. So, uh, yeah, actually, you can fill all that in. It doesn't matter. I'll dump the tinted glass up here. We'll put some chests up here out of the way. And stone, also the bamboo. I'll pick a load of this up afterwards, send out of your chest. I just want some space for a couple of buckets of water to yeah, this, do no this problem. next bit. We'll take a few of those. Like that. And then we'll take some buckets. So we want to get rid of that one there. Now, the theory is I'm going to put a bucket of water there. A bucket of water there and there and there and one there. Uh... One there, one there. So we will have, there is a bit of solid water in the middle. There isn't really a lot that I can do about that. But we should, unless I do it like that. That would work. No. 
It, it's probably just going to hold the bits right in the middle there. And then I've got a solid bit there anyway that's not really going to do a lot. I wonder if I could do that. I doubt they're going to stay still there. That might get it to move the right way. Now, what's the right way? Uh, right, I can't remove this water here. So what I also want to do, uh, can you get a couple of, actually no, let's, let's have a look over here because that's not far enough over. Can't you make it a bit shorter? Uh, take that one off of there. Uh, what I'm trying to do is I want all, I want the water to be moving on the surface here. Could you do it diagonally? Do it like that. It's now spreading out to each side without any problem. Also around the pillars, it's spreading out to the sides. And then it comes over to the edges over here. And it also goes all the way to the edges over here without any problems. We have got the pillar in a way, but I mean, we can always move the pillar. It might look a little bit strange, but we can still do it. Um, that's pretty much what I want, is for everything to be out like that. It comes all the way over here. So then the next thing that we want to do, Sen, is we want to remove the top layer of dirt right here. It's in between these pillars. Uh, hang on. Ignore that side for a minute. Let's work on this side over here. Okay. So you've got this line of stone. That's the edge of the pen, isn't it? Yeah, that's so the wall. We want to dig down one layer. Just one. All the way along. Right. Like this. Uh, there, like that. Okay, so we dig down one all the way along, and then I want to take some hoppers. If I get some hoppers here a minute, and I want to put these in so we could put... The hoppers will go in this way. So if I point them into the wall over there, and then I put my line of hoppers going into each other all the way up through here like this. There, like that. All the way up to that edge, like that. And that'll, this ga one? that'll gather everything up, eh? Like this one in the middle. It should still push the stuff into the hopper. We can, I mean, okay. we can test that really easily, because I can just stand over here and I can chuck a couple of items. And yeah, see, they, they do get pushed out and then they go into the hopper. Where do they go? Well, they'll go along the oh, hopper right. chain to the one over at that end. Right. Four buckets. And so on this side of it, we want to do the same. So we can either remove the layer of tinted glass that I've just put in and move it out by one block um, and then put a line of hoppers in, or we would probably be better off just putting... Uh, I actually think maybe if we remove the top two layers of tinted glass here, that layer... And then one more layer down. Yeah. Like that. And we'll put the hoppers straight in here. I think okay. that's the best way to make this bit work. But be careful. But what about this glass? Uh, this water coming in? Yeah. Do it a little bit at a time. And also on the outside edge of it, we yeah. need to uh, put a block or something there to stop the water from flowing in. It's important that we do that. If we don't stop the water from flowing in, it's going to mess up what we're building in here. So we've also got to put like an extra line of blocks in. What, Just here? A, a lip around the edge of the tank. Yes. A line there, and you could put another line up uh, one higher if you want to as well. So I'll take this top line off all the way along. There, like that, and then we can go one line down. And then this line, do you need another lip? Do you need some on the outside or not? 
Uh, no, because I'm going to put hoppers in here. So it's entirely up to you what you put on there. You can put a line in so that you cover up the hoppers from the outside so that they can't be seen. But in theory... Uh, it doesn't really matter. These hoppers should be fine as they are. Right, okay. So I'll just bring that one out to there. And that block will have to stay blocked. This line here... In between these, I think we might be better off filling that line in. Between the pillars? Yeah. Why don't um, you bring the whole wall in one layer? Le well, we, uh, well, we could do that as well. We could just bring the whole wall in, or we could just add an extra line of tinted glass. You know, it, it doesn't really matter. So uh, that one will go into there. So the two things that we need to do is we need to connect up the lines of hoppers and sort of bring them back in, build a storage room in here. We also need to now remove all of the... Um, soil underneath this one but we've got to do this a little bit sensibly and carefully because we've also got to make sure that the water isn't flowing downwards so we've got to be able to do it in such a way that the water is flowing how it is right now so how do we do this with difficulty <laughs> um as far as i know the way that the water, the, the water streams will work is if we just dig it off, it should form a new layer of water. But, well, it, it won't necessarily form a new layer of water. But if I was to dig off one bit in the corner over here, and then I can't, that's not an actual block of water in there, and not an actual bucket of water. So if I dig off that one in the corner, and then I get a bucket of water... And I place it into that corner. Like that. That should now be a classed as a water source. So we can test that. I can get another bucket. And I can see if I can pick up a water source from that corner. Which I can. So I can put a water source in the corner. And then I can go along. And we're going we're gonna to do this just a little bit at a time all the way through. So I just let you do it then? Uh, well, you could do the digging, and I'll do the other bit. So I want you to come over here. I want you to just stand on top of the tinted glass up there. And dig straight down the one underneath in that corner. There. So I'll place a water source there. Now, next one over. I'll place a water source. And again. Like that. Okay, I've run out of um, buckets a minute. Okay, that's perfect. We've got a uh, eternal water source in there, which means I can fill up with water buckets here. So now I can... Right, next one. Next one. And again. Keep going. Right, now this well. should have worked. So we should have a line of water sources all the way along there. The only thing I'm right, not no, sure about... That grass, just uh, it floated up, back up. Yeah, this is the one that I was talking about, is that we're going to have this problem with just this centre line. Uh, this one is potentially going to be a problem for us. I mean, I can do that which means that the water will flow up a bit higher. So it's got a bit more of a chance of doing something. And I could do that on each side of the pillar here. Okay, I've run out of water now. Let me go and get some more a minute. I've got four buckets if you want them. All right, it, the water's not a problem. Oh, okay, I'm throwing water away now. Uh, one there and one up there. That, I'm hoping, will help the bits that are underneath. Uh, the only issue we're going to have... So, the water... Anything out on this side is not going to be any kind of a problem. In here, all the way down at the bottom, this is potentially going to be a problem. There is another thing that we could do, though. Just to make this a little bit simpler. I put a water source there. That little bit simpler thing that we could do is we could plant kelp on the bottom. And we could grow kelp all the way up to the top. And that would do what we want with the water sources. 
What do you mean? Well, if you put kelp, it turns it into a water source. Oh, right, okay. The only issue... Oh, well, this isn't going to be an issue because we can fill this bit in over here. Um, All right, so when, what next? So we could plant a wall of kelp underneath, and then that's not going to be any kind of a problem. Except for maybe this up here. I've got that one that I want to remove. That one. That one. And you that just one. put them there. Yeah, it's because my bags are full, so I, I don't have room to pick up the empty buckets. Uh, the full buckets. Oh, right. I've got loads and loads of buckets. So if we were to go and get a bit of kelp, we could still make this work. The pen underneath, we kind of need to fill this up with kelp. And I, the only thing that I'm not sure about, which we can test just with this single line right here, is whether kelp will grow all the way up into the moving water source up here. Because this is a moving water block, if kelp grows into it, it will become a, a water source block. And we don't want the ones on the very top to be water source blocks. So we need to get some kelp next. Is there some in the storage room? Uh, that I don't know. I'm not sure where I last seen some. Do you want to check the house and I'll yeah, check? Yeah, I'll check the house. You check the storage room. Okay, that didn't work very well. Let's try that again. Go in here. There is actually an achievement for going at, like full speed when you're um, with your Elytra and then going through a one block wide gap. I have seven kelp here. I've got 64 kelp and another stack of 64 kelp and another. Okay, show off. We've got several stacks right here. I can't pick any of them up, apart from one, because I've got stuff in my bags, but the theory is good. Oh, I can pick up two stacks. That's plenty. So we grab that, and we're going to need bone meal as well. Have we got bone meal here? Um, we got a couple stacks. That'll do. Right. You sure? Yeah. yeah I think I've fine. got um, a chest. Oh, actually, no, I might have left it in the mesa. Right, I'm going to empty out a few of these buckets for a minute. Oh, these axolotls are busy. Alright. Oh, they're spawning again. Yeah. Ideal. Right. Uh, I'll take all of the bone meal. So I got a couple stacks of bone meal here. Oh, actually, we're not doing there. Hmm. Um, I was doing it on the, oh, you know, yeah, we, the pillar have line. Have you got any more tinted glass? Uh, I've got 37 pieces on me. Right, there's, get, there's, there's another 20. There's another 20 that are above you. They're floating up. Over so here. Wait, I can't see them. They're over here on this side. Where are you? Oh, there. Now I see you. Right. Because, uh, yeah, we want to fill in this wall here so you could start moving those in there but the, the test that i'm going to do is whether or not i can grow a bit of kelp right here all the way up to the roof without destroying our water source block that we've that uh, non-water source block that we got at the very top it's only the one at the top that matters the others don't they're fine they can stay where they are so do that it bone meals up one at a time that's gone up to there, and it has gone up high enough to turn it into a water source block on the top there. Which is not what we wanted. So, what about like a sign or something? Would that help? No, we're going to have to just do this a little bit carefully. Uh, first up, well, the, I can easily correct it for the first bit. That's, that's easy to correct. I can just remove the water source block there, and it's gone back to how it was previously. So that's not any kind of an issue. But what we're going to have to do is just grow the kelp carefully. Because I think the kelp only grows one block at a time when you do that. What you can do, though, is we don't even need to bone mill the kelp. We can just put the kelp down and then put more kelp on top. So I can literally just do this. And those, any of these blocks here that aren't water source blocks will become water source blocks. So 
But I don't need to do any more than that. So it'll go up to that line. I need to go up one line higher. Like that. There and there. And that puts it all to a water source block. So if I go one more than that. Oh, excellent. Right, we okay, Sen, we don't want bone meal. We don't want to bone meal them. We'll put the kelp in and then quickly remove it once we've done the stuff with the kelp. See, it's coming down over here. This is not water source blocks over here. That's dropping straight down on that bit. Right, this is actually really, really good news. Because if you're placing the kelp one on top of the other, you cannot actually put the kelp into a non-water source block. It Bye. won't let you do it. So all we have to do is stack the kelp, one on top of the other. Just build it up, essentially. Just like Lego bricks. Or, you yeah, know, so why did you Minecraft take it all blocks. down? Uh, because you only need to do it once. Once you've done it, it's water source blocks, and then we don't need to worry about it. Right, so should, uh, do you want me to start over here? Uh, I think we'll do this one layer at a time. It's, I know it's going to be so a tedious job. So what do you want me job. to do? Right now, break the kelp that I've just put up. That's gone all the way up to the top now. Okay. If you break that kelp, it should all just flow up instead of... Yeah, see? Look now, instead of plummeting all the way to the ground, it's now coming up, which is really good. So we want to do that over the other half as well. So what about these dirt blocks? Am I taking them out? Go all the way over to here. Not yet. We will just start building these up. We'll do this one line right here, and we'll do this line all the way across. It's just going to be easier if we do it kind of like one at a time. So bring that one all the way up like that. There, and then I'll go up here. See, I can't actually make it grow. If I was to bone meal it, it would go into the flowing water and then turn the flowing water into a source block, which we don't want it to do. Now, this one in the middle here, I do actually want that one to go up by one higher. So now what you can do, after you've got some oxygen, is uh, break all of the kelp lines. They're all up as far as we want them to go. So there's one layer all the way across, and we've now got the water flowing where it should be flowing. So anything in here is going to float to the surface, in theory. And it will actually float all the way to the surface. I didn't properly test it there. So let me just throw a few down in here a minute. Uh, that's not... <laughs> Someone coming out the door. Yeah. We don't want it to go out the door, though. Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.